Hey guys, what's up? It's Dane at Zim's Guitars. I got a Music Man in the case. This is a JP6. If you're interested, come on in. Let's take a look at this thing. So here we go. Really nice case. Music Man tagged. All right, so here it is. The JP6, of course, it's the John Petrucci. He was in Dream Theater, still is in Dream Theater, I believe. Super shredder kind of guitar player. And Music Man made a great guitar for him. Let's get in here and take some good looks at this. Right here you can see the John Petrucci uh, signature on there. All right, so you can see the tuners, you got four on one side and two on the other. Music Man owns that patent, so you won't see that on any other brand of guitars. And then you can see on the back of the neck, it's made in San Luis Obispo, California, Southern California guitar with the locking tuners. Again, four on a side with two on this side. Really cool, really cool. All right, so up here in the neck position, the pickups, this is a DiMarzio liquefier. And then down here in the bridge is the DiMarzio Crunch Lab. And then you also have Fishman Power Bridge Piezo Saddles. So you can get an acoustic guitar tone out of this thing. This is our three-way switch for the pickups. Front pickup, both pickups, rear pickups. This is the volume for the pickups. This is the tone. And this is the volume for the piezo system, or the piezo system, however you want to pronounce it. Piezo. This switch up here is what turns that piezo system on, or piezo system. So it actually makes this sound like an acoustic guitar. So I know some of you guys have the acoustic simulator pedal and you're playing all heavy. You want a little riff that is an acoustic. You don't need that Boss Acoustasonic pedal. You just uh, have the piezo system built right in. You just turn it on right here real quick. Let me show you here on the side of the guitar, or rather on the back. We'll look at the back of the guitar. And you can see that it has a piezo output. And you can get in here with a little screwdriver and you can make small adjustments. But there's two outputs on this guitar. One for the electric vert and one for the, the acoustic sound. Uh, your battery compartment goes here. You got your Ernie Ball neck plate on the back that has five screws in it. And then the back of this neck, this is a 25 and a half inch scale length. Neck radius is a 15 inch radius, so it's pretty flat. Select maple neck. So some of them have the bird's eye. This one looks really nice. You can see if you look right here, where they have the gloss finish on the back of the neck here, and then it gets to more satin, hand rubbed finish on the back right here. Yeah, so looking at the fret markers, this is the JP Shield. And so this is the fret marker that uh, is only on these John Pertucci models. You can see right here, it's got the pinwheel truss rod adjustment wheel right there. You have a screwdriver, it just fits in right there. To tighten it so that your action's a little bit lower, you want to turn this this direction, right? Super easy. And then to loosen it back up to give you a little bit more relief in the neck, you can loosen it right there. Hey, I got Zach down here. He's going to play through this thing for us. So let's give it a listen. Zach's going to play it for us.
How's it play? Very good. I'm awesome. a big fan of this. Um, oh man, like I said, I have the seven string version of this pickup in one of my guitars at home, and it crunches just as good on this one as it does on the one at home, just nice. without that low B. But other than that, it is a wonder wonderful pickup. Zach, thank yeah. you so much. No problem. Uh -huh.